time for beating around the bush has passed. So, these are the most incredible things to do in Vancouver, the best that one of the most livable cities in the world has to offer. With futuristic museums tech next to iconic districts and mountains as far as the eye can view, Vancouver is shaped by its history as much as its future. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for future content from us. Now, let's get into it. Starting off the list at number 10. Walk across the Capilano Suspension Bridge. Since 1889, Vancouver's oldest tourist attraction has been dazzling visitors with its swaying bridge over a canyon. The footbridge spans a 70-meter deep river canyon, leading to an activity park with forest paths and an old-growth gigantic treetop walk. There's also a group of totem poles and the cliff walk, a translucent suspended platform along Capilano Road. The Capilano Salmon Hatchery is worth a visit, particularly in the fall, to see flashing salmon as they attempt to swim upstream. The fish ladder, which consists of a series of graded pools, helps fish to avoid Cleveland Dam. Examine the underwater windows for a first-hand view of their efforts. This is truly a beautiful spot, and one of the most incredible things to do in Vancouver, particularly for a little bit of nature. Next, at number 9. Explore Chinatown. If you're visiting downtown Vancouver, visiting Chinatown is a must. Aside from modern buildings alongside numerous older Victorian structures, the neighborhood is also known for its excellent Asian and Asian fusion cuisine. It's become a popular destination for a tasty bite to eat. You can expect that shop and restaurant signs are mostly inscribed in Chinese characters, especially along the central commercial districts. The picturesque wall Dr. Sun Yat-sen Classical Chinese Garden, modeled like the classic Ming Dynasty Garden, is one of the local attractions. If you want to try some of the best dim sum in town, go to Flow to Seafood Restaurant. You may also view some lovely art pop within the Rennie Collection at Wing Sang. It's completely free to enter and a fantastic place to see, so make sure to explore it. Next on the line, at number 8, ski and see the views at Grouse Mountain. Grouse Mountain provides an unmatched view in both winter and summer. This is especially true in the evenings when the city lights are turned on. Here, the gondola runs daily from street level to the summit, where year-round restaurants, activities, and wildlife await mountaintop travelers. But it transforms into a winter wonder and when the snow falls, offering outdoor skating, snowshoeing, skiing, and snowboarding. Grouse Mountain is a pleasant family activity and the ski runs are not particularly demanding. It's also an excellent area to learn to ski. At the same time, it is a hiker's dream in the summer, with paths including the famous Grouse Grind, popularly known as Mother Nature's Stairmaster. You might even see some local bears up there if they aren't sleeping. So, if you enjoy snow, scenery, and skiing, this is one of the most extraordinary things to do in Vancouver. Now, at number seven, find the best coffee in Gaston. Gaston, the city's oldest neighborhood, is home to restaurants, galleries, and stores housed in meticulously preserved Victorian structures. Heritage structures, cobblestone streets, and iron lamp posts create the district's quality ambience. After exploring the stores and galleries, treat yourself to a cocktail or dinner and make it a night to remember. The iconic Gaston steam clock, one of only a few functional steam clocks in the world can also be found here. The clock emits steam from its five whistles every quarter hour, and on the hour, each whistle emits a toot. It's one of Vancouver's exciting neighborhoods and things to do. Next, at number six, relax on Kitsilano Beach. Kitsilano's sandy beach epitomizes the laid-back, fun-loving Vancouver culture. Locals gather here to socialize or swim in the outdoor heated seawater swimming pool. In the summer, sunbathers flock to this enormous beach, but the views of the city center from Kitsilano are spectacular. Aside from the beach and coastline, the area offers a variety of cafes and walking trails and a bustling shopping strip on West 4th Avenue just a few blocks south. Van Eer Park, located just east of Kitsilano, has wide open grounds as well as the Vancouver Maritime Museum. Let's continue with number five. Visit the Museum of Anthropology. The Museum of Anthropology, part of the University of British Columbia, 
prides itself on cultures from all over the world, focusing on British Columbia First Nations. Native art is on exhibit, including enormous totem poles in the Great Hall. Other displays look at anthropological and archaeological artifacts from the South Pacific, Asia, Africa, the Americas, and Europe. The intriguing structure was once a WWI era fort, and local architect Arthur Erickson turned the rooms into this world-class museum. Now, at number 4. See the Brockton Point Totem Poles. When visiting Stanley Park, you must view the Brockton Point Totem Poles. These artistically engraved poles are one of British Columbia's most famous sites. The totem poles were first planted in the park in various areas in the 1920s and the collection developed over time and was eventually relocated to Brockton Point. Today, there are nine totem poles carved from red cedar, as well as three entryway gates. The multicolored totem poles are set against towering evergreen trees and line a wide walkway. A nearby visitor center provides extra information on First Nations history and the totem poles. Coming in at number 3. Visit the Vancouver Aquarium. For most people, a vacation to Stanley Park with the family would be incomplete without a stop at the Vancouver Aquarium. This fantastic facility educates both children and adults about the marvels of the ocean and how we can protect it. A cold water touch tank, a wildlife rescue area, features a Burmese tortoise, penguin cove full of beautiful critters, and the constant movement of sea otters in their environment are all fun and exciting activities. Next, at number 2, shop at Granville Island. Granville Island, once primarily industrial, is today a flourishing center of activity with a pleasant and distinct vibe. Converted warehouses are now home to artists and retailers, as well as theaters, galleries, and restaurants. One of the most popular attractions is the Granville Island Public Market, which sells fruits and vegetables, fish, and a wide range of other delicacies, as well as ready-to-eat foods. The Arts Hub is not literally an island. It is connected to residential neighborhoods to the south by one road and footbridges, and to the downtown peninsula of Via Ferry. So, spend an afternoon on the island on a lovely small aquabus. Everything from confections to cheeses to bread to meats can be found in the enormous public market. Pick up a few groceries for a picnic adjacent to Falls Creek, or visit the market's food court, which is brimming with excellent local meals and goodies. You'll never have to wait long because one of the 13 colorfully painted aquabuses will arrive every 15 minutes to pick you up. The boats are pet-friendly, bike-friendly, and wheelchair-accessible. It is especially useful if you're walking around downtown and like to stop for lunch or some shopping at Granville Island. And now, the number one on the list. Stroll around Stanley Park. Stanley Park is a forested peninsula near downtown Vancouver. This is the most fantastic place to visit in Vancouver if you like to get outside and enjoy nature. A paved seawall route encircles the green space making it ideal for exploring by bicycle or foot. Inland, the park has a lot to deliver, and you can quickly finish an entire day exploring sites. Spectacular sceneries, either back towards the city or out to the beach, are the norm throughout the park. The park's gardens and bushes burst into a rainbow of magnificent colors in the spring, led by cherry trees and closely followed by rhododendrons. During the summer, an outdoor pool is open right on the beach. This heated 80-meter pool is popular with families because of its softly sloped entry. So if you happen to come by any time of the year, a stroll around Stanley Park is always fun. And there you have it. We hope you found this video helpful and gave you insights on what to do in Vancouver. If you like this, watch our videos about the best town in Sicily to provide you with more travel ideas in Italy. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and please subscribe to our channel. That's all for today and I'll see you at the next one.